Hi, you're watching Short Glass Media. This is Hourglass. My name is Rob Davidson. I'm Kat Birdsell. I'm Nick Young. Today we're talking about Guilty Pleasures. So this is the second time. This is Guilty Pleasures 2. So um, let's start off. Um, what What is your guilt, main guilty pleasure? What is your biggest what, <sighs> God, Where do I begin? <laughs> uh, well, I'm kind of your quintessential like mama's boy. Uh, my mom and I are very close. So I watch a lot of the same garbage that she watches. Uh, stuff on like... Like soap Bra- operas? Bravo. No, no, no. Soap operas, no. But certain reality shows like uh, Tabitha Takes Over. Anyone familiar <laughs> I, with I that? I remember Tabitha. It, it's a, a, a haircut version of Bar Rescue. Where like a, a very prissy British hairstylist comes in and screams at a bunch of hairstylists because her shop is crap and then she turns it around and... It's really cheesy and crappy, but I like it. Cheesy, it, I, I mean, I guess one of my guilty pleasures is I really like the terrible movies that are like, when you when you read the uh, the plot line, you're like, what? Like, there's like one, Sharknado? Yeah, Sharknado is oh, amazing. Lord. And there's another one where amazing it's the, the Leaf Blower Massacre, where a guy kill, goes around wow. and kills people with a leaf blower, and that's amazing. With a leaf blower. Uh, I gotta watch yeah. that just to see how that's possible. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and Shark, Sharknado was like was just the stupidest plot ever, but it's super funny, and like all the terrible movies that Keanu Reeves does, like I the acting is awful, but like at the same time I kind of love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I how about, about that? that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the show's called Hourglass. We forget about that. Okay. Uh, what about you? What's uh, what's like a guilty pleasure that you have? Well, let's get this conversation started. I do not have a guilty pleasure because I do not right. believe in guilty pleasures. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans! And why is that? <laughs> my, my own personal theory about guilty pleasures is not the same as Spencer's. Because Spencer says if I like it, then it's good. Now, I will definitely admit that some of the things that I enjoy, other people definitely do not think is good. So I'm not going to say that it's because it is good. I'm going to say that there obviously is a piece of my personality that is just less known or unexpected, and therefore when I enjoy things that people don't um, typically believe that someone like me should, that is what's considered a guilty pleasure. So for example, why do you feel that enjoying Tab of the Takes Over is a guilty pleasure? Because you're a man and, and you're a drummer and you're not supposed to like stuff like that? Absolutely. One hundred percent. I watch that going. What the hell am I watching? Why? Why? But, why? But, but I like you, it. A part of me feel, is like. But why I like do you it. feel guilt for enjoying it? Because it's awful, and I know it. But I like still enjoy it. But so, I mean, so it takes a, up a so lot of time. It's okay to enjoy it. <laughs> sure, I didn't say it was bad, but like it's one of those where like I know I probably shouldn't like it, but I do, and that's what makes it a guilty pleasure. And see, and and that's just the part that I don't buy into because I, I enjoy it, but I feel guilty so, for enjoying it. So there's nothing that you like that you that you don't really like. Feel a little bit of shame tell, for yeah, that you don't. No, like, I mean I just anybody. there are pieces of my personality that some people know and some people don't. I think it's mo- more that when people find out the thing like things that I enjoy that they wouldn't expect me to then they think that I should somehow want to cover that up or say, oh, it's a guilty pleasure to somehow yeah. justify why I'm allowed to enjoy that. Well, here, here's an example when this episode airs and <laughs> I aired out my dirty laundry about Tabitha and my Facebook blows up saying <laughs> horrible things. Yeah. You're going to realize why it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> and, and I'm just saying, I just think that it's a that it's some kind of social... Confinement. That but we're that's so- exactly that's exactly it's a guilty pleasure because people shame you for liking it. And that's but my that's, thing is yeah. that people shouldn't because they, there are well, so I many. I mean, if you want to go on moral high ground, people shouldn't do a lot of well, things. Well, I don't. But, I mean, not even trying the moral to. high ground thing, but like for example, I, I don't think it's right to just be like, oh my gosh, Nick Nick likes Sabbath that takes over. What, as soon no? as the camera cuts. <laughs> 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 I, so I just don't understand why why I need to be. Why I need to feel any kind of anything other than enjoyment from things I enjoy. Um, well, okay. Here, here's an example. I'm a I'm a fairly peaceful guy. I you know, got, I don't really I don't like watching UFC or or any like type of fighting or stuff like that. I I'm a pacifist at heart. 
But there's a part of me that really likes those, like, just home-cut, ass-beating gang fights that someone, like, recorded from a cell phone where someone's just getting knocked out. And I'm like, oh! But, like, <laughs> but, <laughs> why do I like that? Because my personality is, like, so... Peaceful. Peaceful, but, like, I, I kind of, in, you know, quiet, really like someone getting the hell knocked out of them. I don't know why. Maybe they deserved it. Maybe they didn't. But it's incredible. <laughs> Bum fights, can't get enough of them. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> I mean, because I'm trying to think of anything that I would feel guilty about enjoying. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to think of anything that would make me feel embarrassed to admit that I enjoy. You are morally grounded. You I'm, <laughs> and I'm not trying to be, like, you know, high and mighty about it. I just really don't. It makes me sad that people feel like they have to cover up things. Like, when we found out that Spencer had watched every episode of... I'm sorry, I can't say what it's true. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He should no, be ashamed. Exactly. No, point like, proven. No. Point proven. We all no, gave no, no, Spencer no. crap for liking... I do not give Spencer crap for liking Sex in the City. You I th- just couldn't say it with a straight face. Because... No, no, here's the thing. I find that entertaining because that is something that I would not expect of Spencer that I now know. Yeah. And now that I know it, I don't think... He doesn't need to be ashamed for liking it. He oh, he sure does. Guilty. Oh, he sure does. <laughs> and our really one does. audience member agrees. <laughs> That a grown ass man of Spencer's nature should not of enjoy. Spencer's nature. <laughs> if anyone knows Spencer, like him liking Sex in the City, is a what, huge revelation. But that's to exactly us. what I'm saying. Is that obviously you don't know all of Spencer. Well, yeah, I don't claim to know all of them, but I know right. enough of them to so, hate him a little <laughs> and 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 make fun of him for liking Sex in the City. And so, I just don't yeah. think that that's something that he should even need to really be ashamed of. Yeah. Well, he's not. Which is no, good, not. but that's good but he said he, that was a guilty pleasure. He's kind of one that believes that there is no real like guilty pleasure because if he likes it, it's good. That's and that's yeah. why and that's why I said it's not. I'm not saying that I don't believe in guilty pleasures because I'm like everything that I like is good. That's not the case. Yeah, no, it's your just... your logic is a little more sound than his. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess there's, there's also some things that like we like that we we tell some friends because they'll we know that they'll be on board with us, and then there's other things that like maybe they wouldn't be on board with us because uh, you have different groups of friends that are into different things like uh, I'm you know I've been to 23 comic cons and so some of the stuff that I talk about with comic books I don't talk to I don't talk to that like with every group of friends because they think I'm like a big nerd and then the other group is like yeah that's okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh that's it <laughs> are, we, we just had this discussion earlier before we started like you know I'm a big comic book guy too so him and I started talking about comic con and our other buddy who frequents this table uh, <laughs> was uh, was pretty much uh, shaming us for right? yeah. <laughs> liking comic con and then yeah. said wonder con was for fairies and I'm <laughs> <laughs> and see that's just not okay it's not okay no. nameless person with yeah. long and fabulous hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, one of the, I guess one of the, the biggest, I guess, guilty pleasure that I have, and I don't, and I don't really talk, talk about it a whole lot, I guess that's what qualifies it as a guilty pleasure, is, man, I love me some Pokemon. Like, I play... Oh, Lord. I, I've I been got playing some people for, to introduce you I've to. been playing... <laughs> 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 I've been playing for years. Oh and God, I'm sorry, but I, if you saw the face behind the camera right now, and I, I you know, uh, I, and I have some groups of friends that just are totally on board with that too. And I have other groups of friends that are like totally not like Alan. Yeah. I, I, I'm it's... gonna, I'm gonna go with you, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm friends with a lot of artist people. And we hang out. Um, quite yeah. often on Friday nights for like a sketchbook night where mm-hmm. we just like kind of draw and like draw inspiration from each other. But they're all into that. And I'm like well, the older and, one. And I'm one of the only males and I like I'm listening to them and they sound like kindergartners to me and I'm just <laughs> drawing going, what the hell am I well, doing? Well and it's funny because like a lot of the people that I that I'm friends with like from are from computer classes and they're the ones that are all into that. Oh sure. Yeah, you know, so uh, you know I kind of go into that group and I'm like, yeah, this is actually 
I don't care if it's made for seven year olds. It's fine. You can't. Are you eight. a brony? Please don't. No, 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 no. I'm not okay. a brony. I know. I know people who are bronies, but I, I'm not a brony. I, I'm judging if you're a brony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. That's no, the no. Nick Young judging face. Yeah. Do, do the judging face. That's that's it. No, I. I, I, I've actually. I don't think I've ever even seen like a full episode of that. Just FYI, if you don't know, a brony is a grown ass man who likes My Little Pony <laughs> yeah. and is proud of it. He well, wears it on a shirt. They, yeah, they have shirts and hats and all. Kinds kinds of stuff that's it, like you know from they sell it at hot topic regularly next to the justin bieber shit yeah do the judge face again because <laughs> that's more of it <laughs> uh, well like uh, you know I, I i i like pokemon because it's it's a within like the seven year old strategy game it's like it's a, a lot of the strategy is actually pretty advanced for that younger kids don't get <laughs> Shut up, <no. laughs> but so, so this is my question. So is this considered a guilty pleasure because you think because other people are going to judge you as a nerd? I yeah, kind. I mean, kind of to like, some extent because no, I'm just trying to understand. No, I mean, but I, really it, but I mean, like, if you just really like think of like where guilty pleasure comes from, isn't that just what it stems from? You're watching something just that, that you secretly that, enjoy because that people, other people yeah, are going to for. judge you. And yeah, that's yeah, why it's a guilty pleasure. Yeah, because I mean, I'm like, I'm why, like, but why can't you just be? Because I'm like a, I'm like why a heavy metal. Why can't you just be you? I'm a heavy metal dude, but like, if I admitted I like Katy Perry, I got friends who are going to give me shit for it. Then they're yeah. stupid. <laughs> Maybe, but it doesn't make it any less. They're going to make fun of me. Yeah, for exactly. It, and it's a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> I just, <laughs> Maybe I just have much better friends than you. Yeah. All. But well, maybe that's why a lot of When you're a money... girl in... in, in it's, uh, oh, it, you want to get started on that vein? No, well, you know, boy, boy, guy friends, we rarely say, like, anything like, like, hey, dickhead, what do you want to do today? You yeah. know, it's just like, you know, it's stuff like that. And like, oh, man, you like freaking Katy Perry? Okay, so then, so then is you know, it even no possible? Home, like, friends. new can of worms. <laughs> is it even then possible for someone, like, a woman to have a guilty pleasure then? Because isn't she allowed to, like... Tabitha cuts hair, but then if she likes, I don't know, like monster trucks, oh, that's kind of awesome. I mean, well, then she's guys would think it's awesome, but, but that's like what I'm her saying, female, female like, like, standard? girly friends, well, yeah, there's always double yeah. standards, but I mean, what are you going to do? But I, th- I think if you were like, if you were really into like monster trucks, I think, you know, guys would think that's awesome, but there'd be a lot, there or would they be think a lot of girls dark. that'd be like, eh, it's kind of weird. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> Like, if you like monster trucks and beer, chances are you uh, don't like dudes in the same way. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Nick, Nick Young out. <laughs> <laughs> I was signing you off. So there. that's the end of Power Glass. If you like it, spread. Oh we'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>